See, the luscious one is back. Hey, can you hear me? I can hear you now with those heart on glasses. Look at those. That's right. Get your heart That's on sorry. tonight. Yeah. <laughs> I've, I've been waiting been... literally all night to say that. How we doing, brother? Oh, we're doing great. I got a lot of things going on tonight. I got a little, little, uh, little. I got my luscious dolls here, a little luscious. Look at all those. I don't know if you. Oh, oh, they're awesome. Man, look at that. And where where could somebody get one of those little luscious dolls? Want to cuddle up with those at night? Yeah, if you want to cuddle up with a little luscious, you got to slide my DMs and uh, <laughs> send me a little message. Slide. And I send you one. Vanessa, you've been <laughs> sliding in those DMs. You got a little luscious love. Yeah, you gotta. You gotta slide in. <laughs> <laughs> is it easy to slide in your DMs? Because I know when Elon Musk changed everything, it made it hard for people to slide into other DMs. Do we? Is that? Can we slide right in there? Oh yeah, it's really you know it's it's easy going. Um, you can find me at uh, Thunder Luscious at Twitter X now, whatever it is. Uh, Instagram is Luscious underscore Lawrence. Uh, Facebook is Luscious Lawrence. Everything's Luscious Lawrence. So you just type it in. You should be able to find me somewhere. And I'm just now this week on shopovw.com. We just launched a new um, store online where, uh, you know, fans and everybody can go buy OVW merch and Luscious Lawrence merch and everybody else is, that is involved with the new show on Netflix. So, And I, I did. Uh, we'll get to that show on Netflix. And I did. I just saw your, your tweet or whatever it's called these days, shopovw.com. And Vanessa's going to be happy about this because I see That's right. some white hoodies. Uh, I see some yeah. white T-shirts, and I see a pink T-shirt. Vanessa's always saying that uh, there's not enough. It's always black shirts. It's all always that. And, and, uh, right. so it I think, and I think you can change the colors and the sizes on those, so I'm not, I'm not 100%. It just got up this week, but yeah, we'll uh, have more options for you guys, too, and some more designs coming as well. So spectacular um well first off thanks for joining us tonight uh it, it should be I, I, I know i'm a little bit early um no, it's a live show that's what, that's what makes this show fun you pop in <laughs> yeah, and you're, you're ready to go right absolutely yeah. i'm ready uh and, and i'll be honest with you and uh me and vanessa were talking about this we i believe we booked you based on your name alone luscious lawrence love it that's good. Thank uh, you. I mean, I appreciate that. <laughs> who, who? I actually, I, uh, how I got my name is so I started training with uh, Ricky Morton in Knoxville, Tennessee. Okay. okay. And um, you know, he said you need a name, so uh, I wrote a bunch of names down on the list, and uh, that's the one that he chose. So that's what I've been riding with uh, ever since. What were the other names? Were there any other good ones? Oh man, I had, um, I had. <laughs> A lot of these names were, uh, came from when I was playing at uh, WrestleMania 2000. That, that was the first time you could like create a player. Yeah, yeah. So I had, I had like Cypress Heller and uh, Plague is one of the names, and then um, I think I had like some other weird names with Lawrence in it. Um, I don't even. I should have kept that list, but it was about 20 good names on there. Most of them were pre pretty bad. <laughs> Everyone loves to create a wrestler. Pro, right? Oh man, oh yeah, I love that. That's my favorite part of the, the wrestling video games. Um, you played wrestling wrestling video games growing up. Before I ask you the the token question of of what hooked you into wrestling, I I'm sure you've heard that a thousand times before. What I'm really what I really need to know is why did a little luscious Lawrence uh, get his diaper frisk frisk frisked before he left his godfather's house but what were you stealing and in in what was going through your mind at that time oh so you know about my godfather okay so sure do. um i'm a military brat yeah and um i went to germany when i was about three uh three uh three or six months right after i was born we went to germany and then um so that's where i met him and he uh he had all these old like wrestlemania tapes from like wrestlemania three all the way up to like at that time, I guess like five or you know whatever. Um, so we used to watch those tapes, and then when we moved back to the states, I kept in touch with him, and he used to always buy like the WCW pay per views, and we would go over there and watch like you know Bash at the Beach and you know all the uh, the great WCW ones, you know. 
and I, I used to just go over there and watch wrestling all the time. I used to steal uh, my um, my god brother. His name is Bernie. I used to steal his uh, his junkyard dog. Uh, it was the the one that didn't move like the real oh, rubbery yeah. ones that, that didn't fucking move at all. So yeah, the LJNs. Can we touch I'm sorry. <laughs> yeah, no, you curse. You're good. Um, LJNs. Yeah, yeah. Like uh, his mom used to have to like check me before I left to make sure I didn't have any of his wrestlers and stuff like that. I was only like three years old, you know. I just I didn't know what I was doing, but, but you, you know, wanted, I just wrestling. You wanted to connect. You wanted to connect with those guys, and, and, and they're in absolutely. That, and he's into that, and like I I want these. I need these. Um, yeah, he, he had the Hulk Hogan. He had the Junkyard Dog. Uh, then later on, he had a bunch of other ones, the Sting and all those, you know, all those ones. So. Yeah, uh, hold on. My middle child is here to say goodnight for the final night. You want to say... Is that Macho Man? That is not Macho Man Randy Savage. That's right, brother. Oh, yeah, brother. Oh, you want to see my muscles? Oh, I love Macho Man. Put it up. Put up the bicep, bro. Oh, yeah. There you go. There you go. No, we're not seeing my muscles. Give me a kiss. Goodnight. And then, wait, 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 wait. What? All right. Thank you. I'm so happy you know how to hit the sound buttons. Have a good night. Wait, 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 what? Okay, good night. What? No more. <laughs> Thank you. Have a good night. Love you. Oh, well, I will tell Luscious Lawrence you said that. I'm sure that's, that's a compliment, man. Look at that. That's what she needs, good right? Night. Yeah. Yeah. You get one of these so you go have a good night's sleep. They have no idea. Like, when I grew up, like, they, they, the wrestling buddies were a thing. Like, I had them. I had Hulk. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. I had I had a Warrior. Big Boss Man and I had a Ultimate Warrior. Yeah. They were a little bit bigger than this one, but, yeah, you know. Yeah, but still, I mean, that it's, works it's, it's out. It's different size. Yeah, for sure. Um, oh, boy, she just totally derailed me. We were talking about LJNs. We were talking about, uh, oh, so you're, you're a military. You said military brat, right? Yeah, so my mom and dad were both in the military. My dad, my dad served uh, longer than my mom, but uh, they both were in there. You were born in Chicago. Checking and serving. What's that? Yeah, much much respect to them. Born in Chicago. I'm from Thunder Island. You are, yeah, you know, I'm from Thunder Island. Where is Thunder but, uh, Island? You know, by my the way? man, you got to close your eyes and just and and think about it. You know, it's a it's a place where it's a uh, very tropical, nice beach. Um, I actually got that from, uh, it's a guy named Jay Ferguson. It's a song called Thunder Island that he wrote in the 70s. Um, it's one of my favorite songs, so that's where I got the name Thunder Island. <laughs> from? That's where I'm from, yeah. Interesting. He might be my stepdad or my, uh, you know, you never know. He might be my dad somewhere down the line, <laughs> Jay Ferguson. Um, you You talked about well, we've mentioned already Savage. We've mentioned Warrior. We talked about the LJNs. You mentioned Hogan. Um, mm. it, so was your godfather that opened that initial door into the world of wrestling? In, in- absolutely. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, absolutely. Um, I mean, he's been watching. You know, he was watching back in the NWA days. Um, he's from like uh, suburbs of Detroit, Michigan. So I'm sure he went to like some of those live shows up there. He was always getting into bar fights with his brothers and stuff. So he's he's a pretty tough guy. He, my godfather, he did twenty years in the military, and he did another twenty years Damn. being a special forces mechanic. So he was deployed to Iraq and Afghanistan, and uh, he's uh, he passed away now. But you know, everything I do in that ring is for him and, and his family, and you know, to make him proud and stuff. So damn that's straight. my godfather, my godfather ski man. God bless. Uh, my, my father, my father, uh, may he rest in peace would, would, would love to hear that. My, my dad, a uh, military guy himself, uh, I'm, I'm a little older than you, so it's a little different. Uh, he was in Vietnam and, oh, yeah. Okay. Yeah. yeah so, respect. so much respect, big shout out to them. Uh, way stronger people than I am. Uh, so what specifically about the world of wrestling when when your when your eyes when when little luscious uh, saw that what was it that that pulled you in? Um, you know, just you know the larger than life personalities. Yeah. You know, um, yeah, sure. I, I got to say, like you know, um, the physiques as well. Yeah. You know, the, during that time, you know, you had Arnold just coming out with all you know his movies and all you know 
big muscles and stuff. You had Van Dam, and uh, all these guys were jacked back then. You know, Hogan, Sting, Macho. You know, they all had great physiques, and then just like you know everything, the storytelling, the physicality. Um, it's all you get everything in wrestling. You know, you, it's like a soap opera with all kind of different violence and comedy and right. anything you want. You can laugh, cry, any any story you want to tell, you can tell that. So that's why I love wrestling, man. I have to ask, what is on your shirt? Oh, this is a Russia's Woman shirt. There. That's, oh, that's, okay. Uh, it's yep. it's right there. Yeah. Yeah, that's Russia's Woman right there. That looks yeah, I, I, I just came from the show, so I got the, the leopard print uh, biker <laughs> shirt. Yeah, look at that. Uh, I got the dolls here. Um, we just had the show, you know, every every Thursday we do the live uh, show for Fight TV and the local channels around uh, Louisville, Kentucky. Um, so I shot home so I can do the, you know, do the podcast with you guys. And uh, yeah, it's a, it's a blast, man. Yeah, I was I was watching it uh, while I was preparing. I had it on, and uh, it, it was a phenomenal show. And it, you know what? It made me. Here's what it made me think. Uh, obviously, we're going to get to wrestlers on Netflix. Every, that's what I'm really enjoying at the moment. Um, but it, it made me think of this. And Al Snow runs OVW, f- you know, for the most part, give or take and, and whatnot. But he said, that's, yeah, a, that, that's, a, that's a fucking TV product right there. That is, that, is, that is a Raw. That is a SmackDown. That is a TV product ready to go. Let's put it on. Oh, they're a great talent. Let's pull them up whatever the case may be, it's the same vibe I get when I watch reality of wrestling in Booker T's neck of the woods. It's the same thing. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. I've been down there one time. He's got a great setup as well. Yeah. Um, I think, uh, you know, those Booker, Booker T and Al, them coming from those, uh, you know, those great times in wrestling, you know, Booker T, WCW, Al Snow, been all over the world, WWE. And, you know, he, they were there at the height of it, you know, when wrestling was at its biggest time, so they they know what they're doing, and uh, as far as like booking and the setup and everything, and um, I'm just I'm just glad to be a part of it, man. Al is a uh, you know he's been in the business like forty years now, over forty years I think. So he just got so much knowledge and that he can pass down, and, and uh, he's doing he's doing great things right now with the, the show on Netflix and the live show, and uh, I think it being live as well it it, um, it adds some uh, more pressure. But it also, you know, with pressure, you make diamonds. So everyone else is uh, developing and growing more and um, everything's getting more comfortable and just going out there and entertaining the fans. You know, that's it was most important. But it's uh, everybody's, you know, developing and growing at the same time. So the product is, you know, growing, growing and developing as well. So it's, it's, uh, it's kind of crazy to, to look at it from like a minute, but you can also step back and look at it like, wow, you know, we've grown a lot since I first came, I think. And you for you first came uh, specifically to OVW. Uh, correct me if I'm wrong on the dates. Maybe 2019 ish. I believe so. It was either that one or the um, so whatever year the first uh, combine was at that, that I did. Okay. okay. I was part of the very first combine, and at that time they were doing scholarships and all this stuff. Um, I think it was 2019. I think you're right. And then I finally uh, moved to Louisville like um, that October. I think in 2020. So I've been in Louisville about three years now, um, wrestling with uh, OVW. Before I get to OVW, but OVW, OVW wasn't your first stop. You you hit up the School of Morton, another classic, legendary wrestler, Ricky Morton himself, a great model. Oh, yeah. Yeah, right? You were Absolutely. There. Yeah. Um, so at that time, I was just a fan. I was just watching, uh, wanting to be a part of it, thinking, you know, I should give it a shot. So um, I actually um, reached out to the Tate twins yeah. uh, in ROH, the boys. Yeah. So uh, they, they are my boys. You know, I love those guys. And they actually, um, I didn't know them at all. One of my friends knew him from the gym. So I was like, man, could you shoot him a message and just see if, um, you know, what I can do to, you know, get part of the business. And um, they told me about the school of Morton. It was like an hour and a half away from Knoxville because it's like way out in like Chucky, Tennessee. <laughs> but um, so I just drove out there and. Um, it was a fifty dollar tryout fee, and then I, <laughs> Ricky Morton was the first person I saw on the side of the building. He was like, "Well, where did you come from, fella?" <laughs> hey, buddy. I was like, "Well," and I just saw him in the Hall of Fame, so I was like so nervous, you know. Um, 
and I was just like, you know, I want, I want to wrestle, sir. And he was like, well, come with me. <laughs> and, and that was pretty much it after that. So, so I mean, Ricky Morton, a great, great school, great mind, get great training. Oh, yeah. I'm, I'm sure. Why the move from, and maybe you already told me and it just slipped my mind, but why the move from the school of Morton uh, to, to OVW? I mean, you know, I love Ricky. I love School of Morton. Um, it's a definitely a great place to start, but I, I just felt like uh, OVW, especially even now, yeah, um, yeah. it's just a bigger platform, um, a bigger outlet to, you know, reach the fans and stuff like that. So um, it was just time to move on, time for the next step um, in development. Um, Ricky and I, they have, t- you know, two different um, styles of training. Uh, you know, Ricky's a baby face. He's, a, he's all about po- positive energy and he's, He'll tell you what you know the truth and what to do, but he just has more of a, a kind of positive uh, teaching method than Al. I love Al too, you know, but he's a uh, very um, you know old school, stern, um, and you know he, he can be brutal, brutally honest if he, if he has to be, <laughs> you know. So, um, but I you know I love that too. So tough love, you know. Do you want that brutal honesty? You come through the curtain. You have a match. You come through the curtain. Would you prefer an attaboy? Like you did a great job. Do you want all your accolades, your flowers, as a lot of people say these days, or do you want to know yeah. exactly, exactly where maybe you missed the mark this night and can and can improve? Oh yeah, we, I mean, you always want to um, get critiqued and um, and see what you can improve. Just even like the smallest, littlest things, you know, because all that. Cause like, you know, the bigger, the bigger shows that you get on, that's what they're looking at. All the little things, you know, right. anybody can go out there and wrestle and do moves, but if you're doing all the little things and the nuances and if you're connecting with the crowd and, um, your timing is on point and you know what to do, when to do it, how to do it, um, promo wise as well. So, I mean, it's just, um, it's so much that goes into it, but, uh, yeah, I, I mean, I love Al, you know, he, I've learned so much being with him in his three years. Um, when I first got there, he actually taught a class called the um, History of Wrestling. Oh, yeah, I heard and you then he also, yeah. he, he also taught um, one that was a uh, professional wrestling etiquette, like how to put, conduct yourself in the locker room and business, and, you know, with the fans. Just So it's a lot, you know, and he has so much information. And uh, he's willing to pass it down. He loves the business so much. And he always tells us, like, you know, I want everybody to succeed because this is more successful you are. It's going to come back to me, you know, and you, you guys are carrying my name. And I, you know, I want you to represent that the right way. So that's what he tries to instill in us. Um, when I was preparing for this, one of the the most interesting things I heard out of this was you talked about you got you you went to the open. I think it was a camp or whatever. But you you said uh, you got an OVW scholarship. Now uh, I was like, well, what does that mean? It, you, it's literally a school. Not only are you getting trained to take a bump, right, to fall flat, right. <laughs> Like you're taking yeah. classes and shit, right? Well, when I first came, um, it was a scholarship. They were actually accredited by the state. I don't know how they got that done, <laughs> right. but uh, they got it done. Right. But now that Matt Jones took it over, it's just, it, it's more just more of a wrestling school okay. now and a TV show. Okay. And uh, you know we're doing the thing with Netflix and stuff now. So the scholarship part is uh, it's, it's it's like null and void. It's not right. they're not doing that anymore. Um, but you know, I was still happy a part to be, uh, you know, to be a part of that and learn from uh, take all the different classes because they even had like TV production, they had uh, like personal training stuff. It was a lot, you know. Um, and you were going to get like a, a degree right. in professional wrestling, which has like never been done before. Well, that's interesting. Because- so um, I, I think uh, Al eventually still wants to get that done because he's got schools like in Europe and he's got them, um, you know, and in, in, uh, all over the states. So I think he's trying to build like an academy where you know you can go learn, you actually get accredited, and you know, and that kind of thing. So, and that, that way, like when you're done actually wrestling, you can have another uh, career or something yeah. to fall back on that's still a part of wrestling, but you're not, you know, necessarily in the ring. Yeah. So that, I think that's why he's uh, doing that kind of stuff to have you know wrestlers have something to fall back on after they're done in the ring. And I think uh, I, I'm I'm literally one episode into the Netflix show. I watched it at work. Nobody told anybody. Uh, but that is that that's interesting because that is the initial divide. At least what I'm getting from Matt Jones, who who's a business guy. He invested. He wants to make the money. 
Uh, it is a business. It's entertainment. He gets it. Uh, and, and Al Snow, who who wants to, it's wrestling. It's the it's his it's his baby. It's the history of wrestling. It's it's production. Yeah. It's uh, as you said, fitness. He's giving you a a backup plan, a fallback plan. If it doesn't work out, it's 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 a bachelor's degree. Uh, that's that initial. I can't wait. I can't wait to keep watching. Uh, I didn't binge watch it. I'm going away this weekend. I may binge watch it. Um, yeah, yeah. So I haven't. I haven't seen all of it too. I've seen parts, uh, parts, and you know, parts of it. But you know, I've been busy too, like with the show, and then I got to show up in Wisconsin too with uh, Dave Hero okay. and uh, Great Lakes Championship Wrestling. So um, hopefully, I get to sit down and binge watch it and uh, you know, cry with everybody else. Yeah. <laughs> and, and, so that's interesting to me. Uh, what? what what is okay? So, how was it presented to you guys? Like, hey, look, Netflix. We got we fucking signed on with Netflix. They're doing a documentary on what we're doing right now. Like, what was what was your what was your initial reaction to that? Uh, um, well, first of all, I got to give credit to um to Matt Jones right. and uh and uh Mayor Craig Greenberg because uh those, those guys are the really ones that put it together. When they first told us, I don't think any of us believed it. Right. You know, we, uh, you know, wrestlers, you know, you get a lot of some smoke blowing up your butt a lot, you know, so, you know, somebody tells you something, you, you, you know, I believe it when I see it kind of deal, you know, we all, we all made, uh, been made a bunch of promises before. So it was kind of, um, we were a little hesitant at first, but. Now that it actually happened, I think everybody at OVW has gained a lot more respect for uh, Matt Jones and, and is it him, him as well because he made a lot of mistakes in the beginning. But uh, now, you know, it's growing, it's and it's headed in the right direction. And um, it's I got you got to thank Matt because you know he he had a vision. Um, he didn't get derailed. Like you know, he definitely could have got discouraged and stuff, but he did not lose one ounce of uh you know drive or push to get this show on so I, I give a lot of credit to him for that because he made it happen man he really did and not you know it, we, we wanted it we wanted it to happen not to say like we didn't want it but it was just hard to believe at that time but then you know once the cameras came we're like okay but then now it's actually out everybody's like you know it's kind of like a sigh of relief and like like now we can just have fun with it and grow it bigger and Hopefully, get some more shows in the second yeah. season and go from there. And it, it's interesting because because OVW they're they're used to cameras, they're used to live production, putting on shows, and now we have Netflix coming in. Does did that change your mindset as a wrestler? Like, oh yeah, I mean, I mean, as far as like in the ring, no, but just knowing that there's cameras around and there's cameras backstage. And they got big ass like Hollywood cameras and our little cameras that we got. Those are the real deal, you know, high production cameras. Um, and the guy that directed it, um, I, I can't from I can't remember his name, but he, he you know he won an Emmy with uh, his other shows like Last Chance You and Cheer and all yeah, that yeah. stuff. So I saw that. Yeah. Um, it, it was uh, it was definitely uh, an experience, and um, I'm, I was glad to be a part of it, man. It, it was it was really cool. Yeah, that's it. I, I'm real excited. I'm really excited to watch it. I mean, I, I turned it on at work. I hit play. I was like, I know I got Luscious Lawrence on. Let me start watching it. I'm going to watch it anyway. So <laughs> I love Al Snow. Yeah. Hollywood Haley J has been on my list yeah. to be on this yeah. show forever. I'm dying yeah. to get her on. Uh, and She's I, tough, man. She's a tough. She used to be my valet, you know. I so know, right? I know Part of, yeah. I know all about her. Oh, yeah. I fought over her plenty of times. And I'm like, so, so you know how, uh, you know, how it starts off and I was like, motherfucker, this is great. This is phenomenal stuff. I, I can't wait to talk to Luscious. I, we, I said to yeah. Vanessa, I was like, we, we, I know we've asked Hollywood several times that we got to get her, we got to get her on. We got to get her mom on. This is good. And I'm only going to, Freya on here too, right? Big Freya. We have it. Yeah. Freya. Yeah. Oh, she was yeah. so good. She was yeah, so she's good. good. 
That's my girl. I love her too. Yeah, she was so good. And I, I know she, I think she's got a little bit more to play in the season. Uh, mm-hmm. I honestly see now I'm ready to go. I'm ready to watch it. Uh, but speaking of OVW, uh, you, 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 you've had great success there. You, you started late in, in, in your wrestling career, but that doesn't matter. Better late than never. You were, uh, yeah. you know what I mean? Like, so, so tell me, uh, cause I'll be honest with you. I'll be honest with you. I keep up with OVW as about as much as I do, like whatever I get on social media. And I follow a lot of you guys. That's what I get. Uh, I did watch tonight. I'm gonna watch more, thanks to the Netflix okay. documentary. That that's just what's gonna happen. That's just I'm I'm being honest. But tell me, Absolutely. yeah. So tell me, like, what's what's on Luscious list here on OVW? Like, who's what's he going after? Who's he with? Like, what's what's happening? Um. So right now I'm tagging with a. Uh... My my best buddy right here, uh, Omar Amir, Big Daddy Omar. All right, Omar. So um, you know, we we were the tag champs about a couple months ago. Yes, I um, yep. But ultimately, my you know, I want to be world champion, man, national champion, world champion. Um, yeah, those are those are my goals. So tell me right the now. difference between those two titles because one of them is Mister Spectacular, right? He's got the the national. World right. Championship. That's the that's the top belt. So the top belt, and then you have the OVW Heavyweight Champion. That's Jack. So Ball, and the, right, and then you also have the um, Kentucky State Heavyweight Champion, you, which I was the first. Yep, you were. champion. Of, yeah, I was the first champion for that. And how it works is so the Kentucky Champion is the number one contender for the OVW Champion, and then the OVW Champion is the number one contender for the National Champion. Oh, good. So uh, there's 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 thought. So it's like three tiers, and yeah, there's thought behind it. Mm-hmm. Nice. That's another guy on my list too, Jack Vaughn. The f- oh yeah, yeah, yeah. He's on there. Too. He was talking to, uh, some, some some stuff about me tonight too on, uh, on his he little. Did, um, he did speak your name. Doing. Yeah, he did speak your name tonight. Soon yeah, as I yeah. heard it, I was like, "Where's where's Lo-? I I thought you're coming out. I thought my you're now you're yeah, a, the you're crowd. Big, the crowd they, they got pretty loud when he said my pop. name. So I don't know. Maybe uh maybe that's the thing. I don't know. Yeah, they did. Maybe they, they, yeah. They, they did pop. Uh, speaking of fans, they, they, go mm-hmm. ahead. What were you gonna say? No, I said yeah. They did. They did come up a little bit. The audience when uh, when he said my name, so um, I felt pretty good about that. Yeah, they definitely popped. And Al Snow, Al Snow. So Al was in the ring when it was happening, and he he mentioned your name. Crowd pop. Al took a took a pause, turned right, soak it in from the crowd a little bit, then let Jack go. So I, there, there, yeah. may, there, you know, there may be something there. Uh, speaking of the fans, uh, how how do you? Okay, so all right, so this is gonna be layered here. How do you connect with the fans when you're in the ring? And then how do you connect with the fans when you're outside the ring? In 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 today's day and age, which isn't like when we grew up, you know, there's social media. So right. So do do those two link up for you? Like if you're a baby face in the ring on social media, you're baby facing it or heel heel, or do you separate the two? How do you work that? Uh, it, uh, there, how do you, yeah, there you go. Yeah. Yeah. Um, I mean, I think just being yourself, you know, um, you are, you know, wrestling, you know, you are a character, but you know, I think, uh, the fans they see they they want to see the realness you know they want to see um they want to be able to like experience it with you you know so they and so if you feel in a certain way you want to make them feel like oh i remember when i felt that way you know so i know how he's feeling so because they don't they don't know what it what it's like to take a bump or right. run the ropes or like jump off the turnbuckle like they probably imagine and fantasize about it but they know like the emotions that you show they, they 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 know about that, so um, that's what you want to try to do is evoke that emotion and um, just connect with them and listen to them. Um, I'm just myself, you know, on and you know in the ring, outside the ring, social media, you know. So I, I would just say that you know and just be real. I, I know that's kind of weird to say in wrestling, nope. but yeah, I get you. <laughs> I get you. Well, I think, and, I- and I'm not the most like tech savvy guy, so I'm not the best at like social media and all that stuff too. I'm trying to get better. But, 
So yeah, that's maybe something I need to work on there, but I'm trying to build it up a little bit. Yeah, I mean, you're making a name. You caught our eye. Yeah, we like your name. And 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 uh, Vanessa's always said, especially since this change with X and and Elon, like with the DM aspect, like let it be out there. Like put your email in your profile. Have your DMs open. If you're an you know if you're a wrestler and and want to have this stuff, um, this is something we we run across. Uh, we we find wrestlers all the time. We want on it. And one, there's no email in their profile. And two. Uh, with the changes, we can't just slide into their DMs. So. Right, right. No, yeah, I got it. So, um, yeah, it's you know, a lot of these wrestlers, you know, we're not we're not tech savvy. No. You know, we don't. I, I don't check my email every day as I should, but I'm probably gonna start doing it now. I, I've been getting better about it. So yeah. it's a um, and you know, it's like a business thing. You you gotta learn the business side of it too. You know, being you know, if you're good in the ring, that's one thing. But you know, it is a business, so you gotta be on top of your business, on top of your game, and you know, make yourself accessible to the fans and promoters and stuff like that as well. For sure. So it's a, that's a, that's a job within itself, honestly. Right, yeah. Sometimes sometimes that's harder than wrestling. <laughs> yeah, you, you need a hype man. You need someone to just take over your social yeah. media. Put the tweets. I need a manager. Out. Yeah, put the graphics <laughs> out. Do it all for you. Let me know. Slide in my name. Anyways, uh, b- besides wrestling, I, I'm tired of talking about wrestling. There's a lot of different things I'm watching right now. What? Yeah. Yeah, enough wrestling. I know. Enough. I've been playing a lot of fantasy football lately, so. Oh, right up my fucking alley. Let's go. There we go. There we go. Get all right. Dude. All right. Did you win week one? So I'm in two. I'm in the OVW league. I won that one. Dave uh, Dave Spencer. He lost the ref from uh, Impact. Okay. I had him in week one. He went down. Got his uh, booty clapped by the Russians. Booty clappers. But in my other league, I lost. And I and I the reason I lost is because I started that freaking Sky Moore. Oh. And I dropped it. I, he's not on my team anymore. He's for, done. For so Casey. he's going back to Chiefs. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah send him home. Hey, the, the waiver wire's already probably been raked in your league, but I'll tell you what. <laughs> oh yeah, oh yeah. Uh, those guys from from uh, the Rams. I can't even pronounce their names. But there's two. Uh, are you, uh, are you, yeah, I know you're talking about. Yeah. The, uh, yeah. He's like uh, Samoan or Yeah, it so, or sounds like he's part of the bloodline. Yeah, there's one of those. Yeah, yeah. yeah exactly. <laughs> uh, get, yeah. Get him for sure if you could. Oh, man. And then I, had, I, got, uh, I got Gary Wilson on one of my teams, and okay. I'm so worried now about him. So, I don't know. It's a, it's a rough season already. It's only the first week. Right? I know. I know. We got a game, we got a game tonight. It seems... It's thirteen to seven right now with the Eagles of uh, Vikings. Oh yeah, yeah, I don't have any players on that involved in that, so I'm kind of glad, so I can kind of reset and get my team good, good for the weekend. But uh, yeah, that should be a good game. Vikings. Who is it? Vikings and who? Vikings and Eagles right now. And actually, oh, yeah, the, Eagles be, yeah, just, the Eagles just the Eagles just. I might scored. have to get off here and turn that on. Actually, yeah. Uh, <laughs> so besides fantasy football, besides looking good, besides probably eating. Besides lifting, tanning, yeah. uh, what else is the luscious one into? Um, hmm. you know, I you know I love music. I love uh, video games, of course. Um, you know, spend time with the family. I like the barbecue and stuff like there that. You, um, you know, anything to relax a little bit. I like. I got my shows too. I've been watching. I've been watching Heels and. Um, oh. I love watching like uh, 90 Day Fiance and Naked and Afraid, all those weird shows like that. So. Naked and Afraid. <laughs> Play video games. Are you playing Madden? I am playing the new Madden. Yeah. Yeah. What what system? Yeah. I got a PS5. Spectacular. Who's your team? So, um, like I said, my family's from Chicago. So, we got, I'm around with the Bears and Justin Fields. I got Justin Fields on both my fantasy teams. So, he let me down week one a little bit. He did okay. But I think he's got a lot of upside, so we'll uh, we'll keep we'll keep rolling with him out. We'll I'm, keep rolling. I'm gonna tell you what, Luscious. We you gotta have, have faith. We have a we have a PS5 Madden online franchise. We're trying to fill it. Oh, yeah? in. I might slide in your DMs. Give me the login. <laughs> jump yeah, in, let me know, man. Let jump me in know. with the Bears, man. Why not, right? I'm a Titans fan, so I have a struggle in here. 
So, you know, I, I, I lived in Tennessee a lot, a great yeah. portion of my life. I used to live in uh, Clarksville, Tennessee, yeah. okay. uh, which is, uh, like a, you know, uh, by Fort Campbell, yeah. outside of Nashville. Oh, yeah. And then right. I lived in Knoxville, military, stuff, yeah. too, so. Yeah. Yeah. My, uh, my daughter, she's actually born in Knoxville, so I guess she's going to be a volunteer soon. There you go. We'll see. There you go. I got three, I got three daughters, so. That's, oh wow! It's gonna got your hands full, buddy. It's gonna be rough for me. <laughs> um, I'll tell you what, Lush. It's, uh, it's been it, I it, back and forth. It's great. We could probably go all night because we just. I mean, we now we've scratched the surface with other things. I mean, we we probably could do absolutely. This. Man, I appreciate you guys having me on and um, yeah. let me promote the new show on Netflix. Yes. It's already out. You can binge watch it. Um, I got. A lot of my matches on YouTube as well. If you want to see some of my in ring work and promos and stuff, and uh, I told you all my social media, so I appreciate you having me on, brother. For sure, your links have been going out all night in the chat with your social media. Um, what at the end of the night, what we do is I'm going to give the mic to you. You you did plug wrestlers on Netflix. Go watch it, please. It's great. Uh, OVW live shows every Thursday on Fight TV. You can watch it there as well. Uh, is there anything else? Do you want to put anybody over? Do you want to you know, bury anybody? The floor is yours. You can say anything you want. <laughs> you can say anything. Li- literally, you can say anything you want. On the wall, who's the most luscious of them all? And I want to throw up a big, fat, juicy heart. To all the luscious lovers out there in the universe, baby, show me some love. Yeah. That's it. That's right, brother. Throw up the heart. Throw up the heart. Yeah. There it is. My kids can do it better than me. Luscious. Oh, yeah. There you go. Uh, yeah. Have yourself a glorious night. Lush- have yourself a luscious night. Uh, we'll talk to you oh, soon. That's every, that's every night. That's every night, brother. There you hey, go. I'm going to turn on this game and see uh, who's winning. Uh, yeah. See who I can pick up on the waiver wire next week. There you go. Have yourself a great night. Thanks for joining us, man. Thanks. Thanks a lot. All right. Thank you, guys. Love you guys. Thank you. Have a good night. Bye-bye.